First, assemble the apparatus. The two screws protruding from the apparatus must be inserted into the base. Turn the base on its side and use the butterfly screw to tighten the wires to the screws in order to have a good electric contact. Next, cut open one of the bags and pour the solution into the empty plastic container. Now pour a small amount of the solution into the middle tubing. Tilt the apparatus in order to release the trapped air. Next, pour the solution so that it fills the entire transparent tubing. Next, attach two 9-volt batteries. To activate them, connect the second connector of the battery. The same solution can be used many times provided you do not add an indicator. This is what it looks like when an indicator is added. The apparatus consists of three vertical tubes connected by a horizontal tube. Notice the electrodes in the solution in the outer tubes at the bottom. The reaction commences immediately when we connect both batteries and bubbles appear at both electrodes. Now, close the two valves. Within a minute, you will notice a change in the color of the indicator. After 10 to 20 minutes, you will see that the amount of gas collected in the two outer tubes is not equal. The volume on the right side is double the volume on the left side. The gas collected in the left tube is oxygen, and the gas in the right tube is hydrogen. Now you will collect the two gases. To collect the hydrogen, you will use a smaller connector. Direct its outlet upward. Watch the level of the liquid rise. Close the test tube and put it aside. Oxygen, being heavier than air, will be collected with the tube directed downward on the left. To examine the hydrogen test tube, light a match and bring it close to the mouth of the test tube. Note the noise it makes. To detect oxygen, ignite a splint, extinguish it, and insert it immediately into the oxygen test tube. At the end of the experiment, collect the sodium sulfate solution into the bottle and store for further use. Wash the apparatus with water and, if necessary, with alcohol and dry before storing for future use.